Anyways, this is going to be a follow-up video to one that I did previously about the clutch issue I was having on my Polaris. Um, I've actually figured out what the problem was, and it's actually a very simple fix, um, which is great because I didn't want to have to go through bringing it to the dealer and dealing with clutch issues and everything. They did upgrade the clutches on these, which made me kind of wonder why um, it could have been that when it actually turned out that it wasn't. So good news for all you guys looking at these new Rangers. Um, it's not a clutch issue, so you don't have to worry about that. So I'm going to show you how quick and simple it was to fix it and uh, what the issue was. Okay, so first let me show you what it was doing um, as far as putting it in reverse and it wanting to stall out and sputter and all that. So let's start her up here. So she's a little bit cold. Um, let me see what'll happen here if I throw it in reverse. Okay, so you can see that was running really rough. Uh, most of the times it'll stall out. So let me um, do my little fix here. It'll take just a second and I'll show you how it is after. Okay, let's try this again and see what happens. the same as it was in park. No more sputtering. Go to low. Go to high. Back down to reverse. Doesn't hesitate, sputter or nothing. So that's awesome. All right, and the problem lies in this plug right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect this, shut the light off. Okay. Now, let's try. now this is one telltale sign because when I shut the vehicle off, even though it's not in reverse anymore, these lights stay on. So that was kind of like a, a flag that got thrown up. Uh, I wasn't quite sure why it was doing that, but now I know why. Okay, so I want to actually send props out to one of my subscribers, uh, David Parker. David, if you're watching this, this one's for you. Um, he gave me a little heads up um, on something that was going on with his also. So he saw my video, um, saw that I you know, asked if anybody had a similar situation to let me know. So what he told me was he had the same thing happen to him, but he noticed it happened after he installed a backup light on his vehicle. Now, when I first got this one, I already had a bunch of parts uh, purchased for it, and if you notice my first couple of videos, I did a backup light, I did the roll bar and undercoating and stuff like that. So I didn't really get to drive it much um, when I first got it, and I didn't realize it was a problem until I started putting accessories on and then started driving it, and I was like, what's going on here? So what I did was I tried what he said. I unplugged the light, and now it works great. So. It's kind of strange, but it makes sense. I mean, when you put it in reverse, something in the signal wasn't right, and it was causing it to run rough. So we're going to leave it disconnected so that it runs the way it should. Um, I'll probably end up putting a couple of pod lights up on the back roll bar, so I'll have backup lights that way we're running into a switch. So I contacted the dealer because I was going to have them take it in and um, just try to figure out what was wrong with it. Luckily, I don't have to do that now. I don't have to deal with that. Um, the dealer was very good about helping out though, um, they agreed to, to pick it up and pay for the tow and they were going to service the vehicle for me and, and a bunch of stuff. So they, they've been really good. Polaris has been good about backing it up so that, I'm glad about that. Um, but what he told me was, it, it wasn't something you heard of, but he talked to his technician 
And his technician said, the reason it's doing that is when you put it in reverse, that plug on the back for the light, which I thought was for the light, is actually for um, like a beeper, for a backup beeper. And he said it's a very low voltage uh, connected connection. And um, if you hook a light into it, it's going to mess with it, which makes sense um, because when I shut the vehicle off, the light would stay on very like dim it wasn't bright um and i was wondering why it was even on and uh it was doing something with the voltage and the signal and just messing it up so i'm really happy that's all it was a uh, very quick simple fix um so if you guys have had a similar issue take dave's advice and just disconnect that wire it up differently don't use that plug uh, because that definitely <laughs> made it not run good um, but I'm very psyched now. Um, I got my plow all set. We're supposed to be getting some more snow tomorrow, so it's going to be so much nicer to be able to plow and actually have reverse and not be fighting it the whole time. All right, guys, um, I hope that helps out anybody that has a similar situation. Um, if you like the video, give a thumbs up, give a like, leave a comment, hit subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.